I grew up with an abundance of love and care, but I often wondered, who am I? Separated from my Samoan mother at two months, I was given to my Tongan father's parents and two younger sisters, and then to his older sister. From the USA to Tonga, to New Zealand, to Australia. When my aunt picked me up from primary school, my friends ask, who is she? She's my mother. The very next day, another aunt would be at the school gate. Once again, my curious friends ask, who is she? She's my mother. The puzzled look on their faces screamed, but you had a different mom yesterday. My grandparents never hid who my biological parents were. I mean, growing up, I knew who my mother was, but I didn't know her. Often wondering, what if my mother's family were also a part of my everyday life? Would I still be the same person? What if... At 11, I ride with my Samoan mother in her big white van in San Francisco. We are driving down to the VA hospital where she works. We listen to a Samoan love song on the radio. I am quiet, so is she. But it's a comfortable silence. It feels good to be with her. At 16, I returned to Tonga, where it all began. After Sydney's Darling Harbor, Auckland's Sky Tower, and San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge, after traffic and people and concrete and big cars. I like walking on the unpaved back road to the Chinese store to buy my box of anchor milk. I know the number of steps to the church. I recognize the brown cow, the smell of grass, and the fresh air blowing through my hair. It's home. Finally, that question, who am I has an answer. I am Meleana. I live in Nukunuku. I have four mothers, two fathers, and three sets of grandparents. And I am happy with that.